after the storm. Hello, this is Ahura with another weekly outlook. After two long and stormy weeks, now it's time to pause a bit with the light week and try to digest the published data. Last week, we were surprised several times by central bank's decision in the United Kingdom and Eurozone and employment data from the United States. The week ahead, US CPI and British GDP will be watched closely, while we have another several important speeches also to watch. Let's review the most important events of the week ahead. Number 1. Stocks in PMI Monday, service and composite purchasing manager index from China will give us much better idea of Chinese economic improvement. Service PMI especially will be more watched because with the Chinese New Year holiday and celebration, service sector must be more active. Therefore, positive numbers expectations is likely. These positive expected numbers are supposed to help the overall bullish trend of the oil and generally the energy market. Number 2. U.S. Trade Balance Minus 83.4 billion trade balance for December is not far than expectations. Export increased by 0.2% in December, while imports surged 4.6%. Domestic demand and consumptions have been increasing before New Year's Eve, and it has increased the imports much more than helping the export. For the next month, demand is still expected to increase, and it will put the import data to be at the much higher levels. Weaker than expected trade balance will not be in favor of US dollar, and a bit of pressure before inflation numbers on US dollar is likely. Number 3. New Zealand Inflation New Zealand is one of the best examples to control the pandemic and the fast economic recovery also facing the inflation concerns same as others. Expected inflation for the fourth quarter is above 3% and with the 3.2% unemployment level in this country, these data can open the doors for a bit more tightening policy from the next meeting of Reserve Bank of New Zealand and it can lift the KB against its crosses. Number 4. U.S. Inflation December's 0.5% inflation rate was slower than November to decrease the fears and concerns. However, with another fast wage increase and oil price continuing to grow, to see the consumer price raising again is likely. At the same time, supply is still struggling to keep up with the domestic demand and Omicron's emergence housed the fast recovery. Therefore, up to 7.2% year-over-year inflation should not be a surprise. If we see inflation much higher than market expectations, then US dollar again can increase and put more pressure on the US stock markets. And finally, number 5, UK GDP. The quick and instant reaction of UK government to the Omicron variant in December paused the stronger than expected economic recovery. Monthly GDP data for November, with the positive surprise, increased the hopes, and December slowdown paused a bit. However, last quarter's data still confirmed the upward progress in 2021's economic recovery. BOE increased the rates last week, and now, if the overall positive economic improvement will be confirmed, it can slow down the FTSE beers in the chart. Thanks for being with us, and hope week ahead will be an amazing week for you.